End-stage renal disease is a growing problem around the world. In the United States, Medicare spent nearly $36 billion on kidney failure patients in 2017 alone. This includes over half a million people who rely on dialysis to survive. Of these patients, 90% receive hemodialysis, which filters waste from the blood and requires patients to travel to dialysis clinics three to four times per week for four hour treatment sessions. The other 10% receive peritoneal dialysis or PD, which filters waste from the body by diffusion through the peritoneal membrane. PD offers patients better health outcomes and higher overall satisfaction than those who receive hemodialysis. It allows patients to receive daily treatment overnight, allowing them to more regularly go to work, attend school, or travel. Patients can also receive treatment from the comfort of their own home, rather than being in a dialysis clinic for 15 to 20 hours each week. It's really absurd how much time patients spend sitting in a dialysis chair, 20 hours per week. That's the equivalent of a part-time job. Imagine living with half of your salary because you're busy receiving life-saving treatment. This is a huge economic burden on the nearly half a million people who receive hemodialysis. While the number of people with kidney failure has nearly doubled in the last 20 years, the rate of PD use has stayed relatively flat. Why is that? Well, PD is so underutilized because of the inherent risk of peritonitis, an infection of the peritoneal membrane commonly caused by bacteria entering the patient's body from touch or air contamination events. Peritonitis occurs in 30% of patients every year and requires hospitalization in 50% of cases. A patient once told me that they should get paid for doing PD since they're acting like two people, the patient and the nurse. The fact that patients who are not trained healthcare professionals are administering their own treatment causes significant stress and worry about peritonitis. This is a huge deterrent to more people receiving PD. Existing efforts to prevent peritonitis, like educational best practices, just aren't working. We're at an impasse now. Last July, the Advancing American Kidney Health Initiative was put into place as the largest government undertaking for kidney disease in the last 47 years. Part of this initiative aims to increase home dialysis use from just 5 to 50% of incident kidney failure patients by 2025. This is an admirable goal. But how can we feel good about this mission with the risk of infection looming over our heads? How can we make patients and clinicians comfortable with PD? This is where we found our need. I'm Sarah Lee, the CEO of Relavo. At Relavo, we're changing the way that kidney failure patients receive home dialysis by reducing the risk of infection and relieving this daily stress and mental fatigue. This project started as part of a design class when I was a junior at Johns Hopkins University in 2017. My team and I were first introduced to the problem of infection in peritoneal dialysis by Dr. Alicia New, Chief of Pediatric Nephrology at Johns Hopkins Hospital. We knew we were onto something, so we kept pursuing it for the next three years. We saw the impact that we could make by preventing infection and making home dialysis more accessible. This led us to create the Peritonex, a patent pending inline connection device that internally disinfects connected dialysis tubes at every connection site in the system. Rather than connecting tubes directly, patients will instead connect them to our device. They'll then push a button to release the antimicrobial solution into the connection space, where it will kill any bacteria present on the tube surfaces before being automatically retracted. So far, we've developed a working prototype that's been able to exceed industry standards for catheter disinfection on the bench top against a spectrum of bacteria that commonly cause peritonitis. We're also working with the American Association of Kidney Patients to conduct a virtual usability study. We then plan to conduct additional studies to evaluate the clinical efficacy of our product and to address biocompatibility, toxicity, and safety concerns from the FDA. With the Peritonex, patients will experience fewer infections, receive higher quality care, and experience less day-to-day -day stress. Dialysis clinics will also save money from lower infection treatment costs and from greater reimbursements from the ESRD treatment choices model. This new reimbursement model is key. 
the government is rearranging the payment structure to make new technologies like ours more accessible. The Paritonex will also help the healthcare system meet the ambitious goals set by the Advancing American Kidney Health Initiative and offer Medicare a dramatic cost savings since PD costs $14,000 less per patient per year than HD. This means that a transition of just 2% of HD patients to PD would save Medicare $126 million annually. But 2% may also be a dramatic understatement. If 10% of patients switched, then Medicare would save over $630 million per year. The number of patients enduring kidney failure is growing quickly, and it's projected that there will be over 2.5 million people with kidney failure worldwide by 2025, making up a $4.8 billion market. In the U.S. alone, the market size is north of $2 billion. To get our product to market, we'll submit to the FDA as a Class II de novo product as a disinfection device. We'll then conduct a clinical trial to show infection prevention efficacy before resubmitting to the FDA to expand our claims. We'll then market our product to dialysis clinics participating in the treatment choices model. Relavo is a female-founded team of biomedical engineers from Johns Hopkins University. We've gained experience from medtech internships, research at Johns Hopkins and abroad, and from discussions with our amazing team of advisors and mentors. They're clinical leaders in their field, serial entrepreneurs, business specialists, and dialysis industry experts. As you can see from the logos, we also have access to the huge networks of Mass Challenge Boston and the MedTech Innovator Accelerator, and have been recognized by the National Kidney Foundation through the Patient Innovator Challenge. Moving forward, we're looking to raise a pre-seed round to refine our prototype and reach a design freeze in the next 12 months. With this award, we're raising an additional $400,000 in convertible debt financing. We'll then conduct preclinical studies to address any lingering biocompatibility and safety concerns before submitting to the FDA in mid-2022. At Relavo, we believe that patients shouldn't be further burdened by their treatment. With our product, patients and their caregivers will have one less thing to worry about. We're striving to offer patients higher quality care by allowing more people to receive treatment at home. Thank you.